After the German victory in the Second World War, Russia collapsed into many own independent states with their own personality and ideology. But today, we're going to be playing in the Your Military District with a submod for the Second West Russian War equipped. Now, we've got Konstantin Rokossovsky as our leader, but as many of you know, he won't last for that long. So, I'm going to trust in Petov to lead our glorious nation to Russian reunification and possibly more. The reason why I'm not going to be getting Boris Yeltsin is because he's a democratic leader. And if you want to reunite Russia, we're not going to talk about rainbows and sunshines all the time. We're going to have to do hard work and discipline. Now, we're going to have to have some freedom because we want the people happy. We don't want to turn into a chaotic state like Omsk. The current state of our army isn't looking so well. We've got to deal with the revisionists and the Black League influence over our Grand Army. But we've got these decisions to slowly get rid of these major debuffs. I began to crack down on the revisionists influence over our army. However, we have got another debuff. But luckily, it won't last for long. So after a little while, we completely got rid of the revisionists and the Black League influence of our army. A major victory for Konstantin Rokossovsky. Now we could start by focusing on our industry, but I think the people is more important. So we'll construct bomb shelters just in case a war ever breaks out. And we'll also make the living conditions more enjoyable. We can now focus on our grand industry. So we can have the funds to build up our army, just in case we get attacked, or we attack another country. We're also going to make the work environment more friendly, and so people can enjoy it. And finally, after many decades of suffering, Luftwaffe bombing has stopped. But now, we can complete the rest of our first focus tree of the video. And after the completion of that focus, we've unlocked the Sumata decisions where we can invade other neighbouring countries to reunite our own region. For us, it is Western Siberia. And we'll start with the West Siberian People's Republic. To the north, we can try to reunite with Vokuta and the Free Avianers. That's if they accept our proposal. And luckily for us, both Vokuta and the Free Aviators both agreed to reunite with us, the Euro Military District. And we are now at war with the West Siberian People's Republic. And the West Siberian People's Republic is also at war with the Black League. So, this war will be a bit easier. And just like that, the West Siberian People's Republic has been assimilated into the Ural Military District. But our next target will be the Black League, and they have got a bigger and stronger army than the West Siberian People's Republic. However, I think that their army will stand no chance against ours. Okay, let's hastily get rid of this puny little state. With the Siberian Black League out of the way, we've only got one more country which stands in between us until we can reunite Western Siberia, and that is Zalats. Now we can peacefully reunite with them, that's if they accept. If not, you will take them by force. Luckily for us, Zalats has accepted integration. So all we've got to do now is just complete the rest of our focus until we can reunite Western Siberia. A few focuses later, we are at the final focus of our second focus tree of the video. And just like that, we can reunite Western Siberia. A major victory for comrade Konstantin Rokossovsky. And one step closer to Russian reunification. Unfortunately, our beloved leader, comrade Rokossovsky, has passed away today. 
and we have got Pavel Batov as our temporary leader because the elections are coming up shortly. But we're gonna stick to Pavel Batov because I believe that he can lead us to Russian greatness. And the elections began. I did everything in my power to increase Batov's influence over our massive country. And after a little while, it was time for the elections. And the election power went in Batov's favor. Pavel Batov is going to fulfill Rokostovsky's footsteps. Well, not really. He is going to have his own reforms. We started by enforcing discipline. And then we made sure that the people weren't going to go mentally insane. So we made it a bit more democratic. Well, not too democratic. With those reforms out of the way, we have got a deal with the Southern Euros. We're, we're going to try to prepare an invasion and beat Western Russia to the Southern Euros. Our industry is kind of lacking and we can't build our glorious army without an industry to support the funds. So I descended down our industrial side of a focus tree, which drastically improved our nation's industry. But we are now at war with the Southern Euros, and so is West Russia. So let's see if we can hopefully gain all of the Southern Euros. And our campaign in the Southern Euros has been more than a great success. With our industry out of the way, we can move over to our army. We are making sure that our army will be more technologically advanced than our opponents and vastly equipped. I'm gonna train up some tank divisions because they are both fast and powerful. With the army side of the focus pretty out of the way, we can look over to the diplomatic side, where we can make a name for our country. We will start by looking over to the United States of America. We'll ask for aid and recognition of a true Russian state. And our diplomatic talks were a major success for both countries. I also contacted Round for support, and they generously accepted. It is now time to prepare for a war between us and Western Russia. So let's see if those industrial and army reforms will help us win this war. With the capitulation of the Eurasian Provisional Authority, the Ural Military District is the only contestant left standing in Western Russia and Western Siberia, so we can reunite both territories, forming the Russian People's Union. And we've also got another focus tree. Very nice. The newly acquired territory is highly populated, and most of the people aren't really happy with the new government, so we've got to prove to them that our government supports the individual rights as a human being, and will also prove to them why we fight in wars. Well, we fight in wars for not only the country's protection, but also the people's protection. But now, the year is now 1971, and we are now going to start a war between us and the Siberian Soviet Socialist Republic. So, let's see if we can defeat Siberia and reunite the motherland. And the Russian People's Union was successful in defeating 
the Siberian Soviet Socialist Republic. So, Betov can reunite the motherland. I'm now going to start to expand Russian influence around the globe, standing in Central Asia. I formed a faction between us and Kazakhstan, and I'll later integrate them. Meanwhile, we're going to have to deal with the rest of Central Asia. And that concludes the Russian campaign in Central Asia. And with our newly acquired Central Asian territories, I'm going to liberate them, because I don't want to be too harsh in Central Asia, because I'm already annexing Kazakhstan. And I have helped Iran win their civil war, meaning they will join our faction. Martin Bormann has died, and Germany and its allies are at its weakest point. So I think it is only right to declare war on our greatest enemy. Комбаты рядовой, к единою судьбой Мы связаны навек, друг мой Служить России суждено тебе и мне Служить России удивительной стране Где солнце новое встает На небе синим Плечом к плечу идут российские войска И пусть военная дорога не легка Мы будем верой и правдой служить России. Без страши атак мы сохранили флаг и дом родной нашей песни. А коль придет беда с собой, мы тогда честно заслоним друг мой. И пусть военная дорога не легка, мы будем верой и правдой служить России. And we have successfully avenged our comrades who fought in the Second World War. And we have defeated Germany and its allies. I've declared war on Burgundy, Switzerland and France. So let's hastily get rid of these countries.
Now, I capitulated France, Burgundy, and Switzerland, but the peace conference between me and Burgundy didn't show up. So, I just annexed them using the console. Now, Italy aided Germany in defeating Russia in the Second World War. So, I have declared war on them. And I have also declared war on Iberia. So, let's see if we can defeat these countries. The final war of the video has been a major success for Russia. We have defeated Italy, its puppets, as well as Iberia. Bertov and Rokozovsky have both paved the way for Russian greatness. Russia hasn't only been reunited, but we have also defeated Germany, Burgundy, and Italy in its faction. Now, I couldn't regain our former Soviet Japanese territories because the National Protection Army beat them, so their mechanic was removed from the game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and 